If your info tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a blank. Happy May, everyone! So, I've done quite a few Star Clan Battles videos, but there's still a lot of blank spots when it comes to certain characters. I'm just trying my best to do episodes that help answer people's questions. At least without spoiling too much. I am, of course, only one person behind these stories and characters, though, so as always, I recommend that if people want to learn more about our characters, be sure to subscribe to the Star Clan Battles YouTube channel, where we do monthly streams talking about the characters and answering your questions. There's also a playlist of videos over on that channel that has all my previous videos about the characters. And if you want even more info, check out the Star Clan Battles Patreon. We post monthly character bios and mini stories for anyone supporting the project at $3 a month, as well as show off progress on how episodes are coming along to our higher backers. Anyway, it is way past time for me to talk about the dynamic of these particular River Clan characters. Swiftmask and Wolfthorn with their apprentices, Mosspaw and Graypaw. While I've talked about Wolfthorn, Mosspaw, and Graypaw before, I really haven't touched on Swiftmask, who is kind of the glue holding all of them together and one of our main characters. So sorry, Swiftmask, I've really done you dirty up to this point. Swiftmask is the model of what a good warrior should be. Loyal, brave, strong, and always helpful to those in his clan who need him. RiverClan is Swiftmask's home, and he'd do anything to protect his clan and the cats in it. It's almost enough to make Wolfthorn barf, if Swiftmask wasn't so genuine about it anyway. Wolfthorn and Swiftmask have been close friends since Kithood, and to Wolfthorn even more. Since Wolfthorn has never really had a close relationship with his own brother, Gilstripe, and things have been tense between him and his family since his father Brightscale passed away, Wolfthorn sees Swiftmask as his only real family, though he's not sure that the feeling is mutual. Sometimes Wolfthorn wonders if Swiftmask finds their friendship a nuisance to his own success in RiverClan, but is just too polite to say anything about it. Swiftmask might be a pretty selfless and brave cat, but his own good qualities are also his weaknesses. His sister Piketail has always told him that he is much too naive for his own good, but he truly does believe the best in others, including his close friend Wolfthorn, who has abandoned RiverClan in the past to travel the world, and his leader Rainstar, who has done things that don't always make sense to Swiftmask, but he's confident that she's trying to do her best for the clan. Even if that means Swiftmask had to wait years to get an apprentice. Swiftmask has wanted to be a mentor for so long now, but Rainstar always had her reasons for never letting Swiftmask become a mentor. Now that he finally is one, though, he's going to make sure he is the best mentor for Mosspaw. He's happy that he doesn't have to do it alone, either, since Wolfthorn began mentoring Graypaw just about half a moon before he started mentoring Mosspaw. Graypaw and Mosspaw couldn't be more different in terms of students. Graypaw is quiet and thoughtful, and Mosspaw is a pawful. <laughs> But Swiftmask has always been a patient cat, and he admires his young apprentice's passion. Swiftmask figures Rainstar must have picked Mosspaw out for him specifically, and he doesn't plan on failing her expectations. Wolfthorn doesn't see himself as particularly cut out for mentorship, but he's found a pretty kindred spirit in Graypaw, and the two enjoy the company of Swiftmask and Mosspaw. What Wolfthorn doesn't know is just how much his apprentice really admires him. And Mosspaw is just hungry to prove herself. There's so many great cats in RiverClan, and Mosspaw wants the approval and adoration of all of them so badly. But sometimes things just seem like they're harder for her to accomplish than her peers. Is Lilypaw just exaggerating, or has she really already perfected her fishing stance while Mosspaw is still trying to understand the basics? Why does she get so bashful and self-conscious about asking Swiftmask to show her the posture she should have again? Why is it so hard to concentrate on one thing at a time? Ugh, it's frustrating, but she's determined to get it right. Together, these four balance each other out and make a great group of friends. And with everything being crazy in River Clan, it's good to have friends who look out for you. So, fun story about this piece. There's a bit of a tradition in the Star Clan Battles group that Morwen did where she drew these characters together and called it River Clan's Finest. 
I wanted to pay tribute to that tradition and do my own River Clan's finest. These four have always been together and they are all just good beans. I love them. And again, I'm sorry I haven't really talked about Swift Mask up to this point. I'm gonna have to do a couple more on him because he's an interesting character and again, one of the main characters of the show. So there's more Swift Mask content coming, don't worry. Speaking of good beans though, the Starkland Battles team is planning another themed stream and live Q&A. This Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time over on the Starkland Battles channel, we will be live and drawing some of our characters with flowers. We'll talk, answer your questions, and do lots of pretty art. So be sure to join us over there for that. We'll be sure to do a reminder before the stream over on Twitter and on YouTube. Again, that's Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Drawing a Blank. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see y'all back here next time. Don't forget to stay inspired. Oh